Hey guys, it's Kylie Hatmaker. Today in Kylie Cooks the World, we are going to make a smoothie. Now, I make mine as a non-dairy smoothie, and it has one ingredient that's in it absolutely every day, avocados, which is why I have so many. It's National Avocado Day, so we're going to talk about it. Um, so, to make my smoothies, and it really, it gives you so much variety. I mix it up every day, but one thing it just really always has is at least half an avocado uh, that goes in it. This is five strawberries just chopped up, and then um, some blueberries, about a quarter cup of blueberries. Um, I always put flax seeds in mine um, because they're good for you. So about a tablespoon of flax seeds. And um, this is going to make two smoothies when we make it. For me, I do um, this sugar-free coconut milk yogurt uh, to keep it dairy-free. Probably about half a cup, uh, maybe a little more, uh, just a little over half a cup to that. And then I use this zero sugar oat milk to keep it dairy-free as well. Um, and that too, it's just you want enough liquid. It depends on how much fruit you're using that's frozen. Today, I'm not using frozen fruit, um, so I'll use um, a little uh, less milk. I just want to make sure it's pourable to the consistency that you like is really what you're looking to do. But for the sake of a recipe, we'll say about half a cup. Um, to, um, I'm also going to add peaches to mine today. So I love fresh peaches, um, not canned peaches, yeah, but fresh ones, delicious, and now's the time to have them. So I'm going to chop this up, throw it in there as well. I wanted to talk about the avocado. So um, I'm going to use a bigger knife for that. So one of the easy ways to do it is you um, just cut it down to the seed. Um, so I can feel that round seed in there, and I've cut it in half all the way. Um, then we're going to open it up. I've got that seed on one half. Um, you can scoop that seed out with your knife. And then you take a large spoon and just scoop it. So, and my blender should be able to take care of that without me having to dice it up into smaller pieces if you're not using the other uh, half of the avocado or if they start to go um, a little too ripe, you can go ahead and just scoop them all out chop them into chunks and then throw them in the freezer so that they're ready and they're preserved so that you can throw them into your smoothies all the time. Uh, I'm going to chop this up uh, and that's going to be really loud so we're not going to put you through that. So I'm going to dice this peach up or at least cut it up a little bit to mix it in. I do do my fruit first because it's taking up so much space in the glass and then I'm going to add my, um, my uh, liquids after. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a little more space in there now um, because I used zero sugar um, in my yogurt and in my um, oat milk. I'm going to add a couple of packets of sweetener, just whatever sweeteners you like, uh, but I am going to add those to mine. You don't have to, obviously. It just depends on how you want it to taste. The fruit has, you know, sugar in it on its own. Um, like I said, the oat milk, zero sugar. Just want to make it kind of pourable. Um, since there's not much frozen, I don't have to add as much, but that's about a oh, quarter cup. And my coconut milk yogurt alternative that is also sugar-free. So around half a cup of that. you got to kind of finagle it in there once I get my blender already going. So we're going to mix those up. So we've got it all blended up, poured into a couple of glasses. I have... Uh, a serving size for myself um so same thing if you want to use dairy use dairy instead it's the same concept as far as like the regular yogurt and, and regular milk uh, if you want to mix that in frozen fruit instead of this uh, fresh fruit then that's going to be the same concept same amount of fruit it's not really going to change anything it just changes your consistency as to how frosty and smooth it is um so mm. It's a really good one, so be sure to try it out. Let me know how you like it, and um, I got all my stuff at Walmart. Just throw it on your online grocery shopping list, and it's ready to pick up whenever you get there. Thanks so much for sticking with me. I am available on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, so be sure to follow me.